Grey's Anatomy's Milestone Season 20 is already airing. 20 seasons. Wow. Oh my gosh. The viewers are used to the whirlwind of emotions on the show. We're not afraid to get messy. But the actors' real-life stories are sometimes even more complicated than their characters. Watch this video to learn about the struggles Camilla Luddington had to face in her private life. Find out who Kevin McKidd's new girlfriend is and get to know what Ellen Pompeo was doing in her newly found free time. Let's go. So it's going to be really fun. Camilla Luddington as Joe Wilson. The actress was born in England, but she's really good at hiding her accent on Grey's. Even after a decade on the show, Camilla still struggles with it. And in real life, my accent slowly yes. becoming more American. Right. Um, but no, I screw up all the time. Oh. Thank God for ADR. Right. Luddington moved to the U.S. when she was 19 and settled in Los Angeles. There, she met her future husband, Matthew Allen. We met before, way back in the day, we actually waited tables together. Oh, you did? Yeah, when you... we first got to Los Angeles. Matthew is also an actor. He even appeared in an episode of Grey's season 13. The two dated for over a decade before Allen popped the question on New Year's Eve 2018. By that time, they already shared a daughter, Hayden. And in 2020, they welcomed a new bundle of joy their son Lucas. However, this time Camilla experienced a condition she wasn't aware of, postpartum anxiety. Her own mother passed away when the actress was young, so having two children turned out to be super triggering. Luddington confessed that she doubted going into therapy, as it's not a very British thing. But then she realized that she should give it a try. Now, Camilla can be more present for her kids. Moreover, she wants them as well as other people to know that talking about mental health is important and that seeking help is definitely not a weakness. Now let's find out the details of another actress's private life. Kim Raver as Dr. Teddy Altman. Season 19 of Grey's ended with a jaw-dropping cliffhanger. Viewers held their breaths when Teddy collapsed in the middle of surgery. However, she's not completely unaffected by her experience, and it will definitely affect her relationship with Owen. You're gonna laugh in moments, you're gonna cry in moments. Kim Raver, on the other hand, enjoys a much calmer life off screen. The actress's husband, director Manu Boyer, is also in show business. Their meet cute actually happened in a unique location, a swimming pool in New York City. The two don't share much about the start of their relationship. However, other details are not super private. The couple have two sons, Luke West, 21, and Leo Kipling, 15. Manu's love for volleyball has passed down to them. Both Luke and Leo play competitively, and although Kim is totally supportive of their passion, she admits that she's not actually a fan. Now, let's move on to Raver's on-screen colleague. Katerina Scorsona as Dr. Amelia Shepard. Not one, but two of Katerina's real-life pregnancies were written into the scripts of her shows. The first one was included in her private practice storyline, and the third in season 16 of Grey's Anatomy. Scorsona and her husband, singer-songwriter Rob Giles, share three daughters. Eliza, Paloma Michaela, and Arwen Lucinda are now 11, 6, and 4 years old. Katerina has been very open about her family and parenting on social media, especially when she discovered that Paloma had Down syndrome. The actress initially struggled with the news, but it ultimately led to a new perspective on motherhood and love. I think having children completely redefines the word kindness. Unfortunately, the actress and her husband split in 2020, just four months after their youngest daughter was born. This challenging time coincided with the pandemic. But thankfully, Scorsona had quite a strong support network, including her two sisters. Just like her character had Meredith and Maggie, right? And just when life seemed to be getting back on track, Katerina faced another blow. Last April, a terrifying fire tore through their home. The actress and her kids were not harmed, but they lost all four of their pets. After the fire, Katerina shared a heartfelt message thanking her family and friends for their support. What we learned is that the only thing that matters are the people that you love. We would not be here without it, and we are so grateful. We hope this is the last misfortune Scorsona and her family will face. Next, let's explore who Katerina's on-screen ex is married to. Kevin McKidd as Dr. Owen Hunt. On the show, Dr. Hunt is three times married and twice divorced. Interestingly, the same is almost true for the actor who portrays him. But, unlike his character, Kevin McKidd is the father of four. Yeah, I've got, I've got two kids in college and two kids in diapers, as he said. He shares two children with his first wife, Jane Parker, daughter Iona, and son Joseph, now in their 20s. 
McKid's younger kids, Aiden and Neva, are from his marriage with a private chef, Ariel Goldrath. Unfortunately, the two finalized their divorce last year. Although McKid doesn't usually share his personal life on social media, this time he made an exception. He turned to Instagram to explain that he and Ariel still have a deep and honest relationship as parents and real friends. But the actor didn't stay single for long. He's now linked to Danielle Saver, who plays Maya Bishop on the Grey's Anatomy spin-off Station 19. Last summer, not long before McKid's divorce was finalized, the actors were spotted together during a trip to Italy. Then, Kevin seemingly confirmed his and Danielle's relationship by posting clips of their trip to Zambia. And in November, they finally made their red carpet debut. Moreover, McKid recently opened up about how happy he is with Danielle. She's an amazing human being, so I feel lucky on many levels in my life right now. As their romance evolves, we'll keep an eye on these two actors. Now, let's find out which Grey's cast member promised herself to never leave the show. Chandra Wilson as Dr. Miranda Bailey. On Grey's Anatomy, Chandra's character has been married twice, but in her real life, she has a loving partner of 30 years who prefers to stay low key. Still, he used to appear by her side at a few red carpet events. Wilson and her mystery man share three children, daughters, Serena and Joylin, and a son, Michael. The boy was born right after the second season of Grey's, which means that Dr. Bailey's pregnancy was very much real. Michael is now 19, while the girls are in their 20s. Chandra's eldest, Serena, shares her mom's creative drive. She studied screenwriting at the university. However, it took her nine years to graduate because of the chronic illness she suffers from. She did every kind of test, every kind of scan, and I think the one day that it really got to me was when um, she had to do a laparoscopic procedure. Thankfully, now Serena is getting the treatment she needs to keep her condition under control. Chandra revealed that she could never stop working as she needed to support her family. You can't skip a beat if you're trying to earn a living as an actor. That is probably one of the reasons why she's so loyal to Grey's Anatomy. She even said once, I'm there until the wheels fall off. But now, when the show is in its 20th season, Wilson confesses she's challenging herself to be there until the very last episode. And we bet there's another actor who thinks the same way. James Pickens Jr. as Dr. Richard Weber. It's hard to believe that James never wanted to be an actor. He actually had aspirations to be an artist and an illustrator. Now he has a successful 40-year career that spans television, film, and theater. And this is exactly how long he's been together with his wife, Gina Taylor Pickens. If you wonder what their secret, here it is. Love unconditionally, forgive quickly, and treat strife and trouble like a basket of rattlesnakes. Gina is also an actor and singer. However, it seems like she quit back in the early 2000s. James has a daughter with his wife and a stepson from her previous relationship. Carl Tharps is a hip hop artist, while Gavin Pickens is an actress, just like her parents. She appeared in the miniseries Wayward Guide. Also, fans of Grey's might remember her from the episode All of Me in season 14. Next, let's talk about an actor who plays a quite indecisive character. Chris Carmack as Dr. Atticus Lincoln. This heartthrob melted the hearts of many viewers, not only Amelia and Joe's, and their love story is going to be even messier in the next season. But does Chris Carmack have someone special in real life? It turns out he married his long-term girlfriend, Erin, the same year he joined Grey's Anatomy. Their daughter, Kai, born in 2016, was present at her parents' wedding. And now she's the big sister. Baby Ciel Este was born in May, 2022. Her name means the sky and the stars, and that's exactly what she is to her mom and dad. Both Chris and Aaron are quite active on social media. Their accounts are full of hilarious videos everyone can recognize themselves in. Can I have your wallet? What do you need that for? No kidding, you should check them out. But only after this final part of this video. Ellen Pompeo as Dr. Meredith Grey. Fans of the medical drama were devastated when Ellen announced she was done with playing Meredith. Thankfully, her character hasn't left for good. Okay. It's not a complete goodbye. Um, and, I, and I think we've got an interesting story to tell. Also, Ellen continues to serve as an executive producer and will provide the series' iconic voiceover. So, what were her plans for her newfound free time? Pompeo revealed 
that after 18 years, she was ready to finally play another character. She's already booked a role in a limited series titled The Orphan. Meanwhile, she was busy even without filming. I have three kids, and um, so I take care of them, and it's really important for me to be around for them and be more present for them. Ellen is married to music producer Chris Ivory. The two first met in a Los Angeles grocery store in 2003, but it wasn't love at first sight at all. No, 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 no. Wasn't like that at all. They began dating only after six months of friendship. Chris proposed in 2006, and the next year they wed in a quiet secret ceremony. Pompeo's husband has always been supportive of her career. However, he reportedly didn't exactly enjoy her love scenes on the show. Also, Ellen admitted that she tends to get a bit commanding with her husband sometimes. Thankfully, Chris isn't intimidated by her bossiness at all. He's good about letting me know when I'm talking to him like an employee, revealed Pompeo. Recently, Pompeo was joined by her daughter Stella Luna as her date to the Emmy Awards. The 14-year-old is Ellen's eldest child. Her younger children are Sienna May, who is nine, and six-year-old Eli Christopher. The actress shared how crucial it is for her girls to have role models to look up to. My daughters are black, so it's very important to me that they see a lot of images of beautiful, powerful, strong women, she explained. Every time there is a black woman on a magazine cover, I make sure that magazine is in my house and on my table. But as Pompeo's fans, we think that Stella and Sienna already have the best role model right next to them, their mother. If you like this video, check out the other ones we have. And if you want to learn more about the younger cast of Greys, let us know in the comments. Oh, thank you guys so much. And stay awesome.